nothing has prepared me for this rotation. It is crazy hard. What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, I am in my rotations and I've been doing just like a rotation kind of pre-rotation, after rotation, wrap up expectations thing. And that's what this is gonna be in. If you have not seen my other rotations, please hit my playlist up. You'll find all of the rotations that I've been on thus far and what I thought about them. Today, I am gonna be talking about my third rotation, which is my critical care rotation. So critical care is exactly how it sounds. It's um, inpatient medicine, it's the ICU, and these patients are critical. So at any point in time, they can get worse or, um, you know, just kind of stay stable and you're just monitoring them. So far, like I've only done a couple of days of this thus far because we work 12 hour shifts, but so far it's been really tough, you guys. Like nothing has prepared me for this rotation. It is crazy hard because you just are seeing really, really sick patients. I have the privilege to be at one of the trauma hospitals and it is like, man, it's really, like the things that I get to see, you know, the different types of trauma that come through and then they're sent to the critical care unit, the ICU to be taken care of, it's wild. And so dealing with that kind of has been like, you know, you're just trying to figure out like, so how how are you dealing with that whole situation? You know, you have to be a professional, you have to care for these people, um, you have to manage all of their labs and everything that's going on with them. But at the same time, you have to kind of care for the, the family as well. And to me, I think that has been the most eye-opening slash you know crazy part of it all because the family members are hurting uh you know their their loved ones are in the icu and they're really really sick and so they're sad or angry for whatever reason you know angry at another person maybe even angry at the patient because they may have been the ones that kind of ultimately caused themselves to be in this situation or, um, you know, and, and that kind of comes and it's it's trickled down to you. And I've realized that, you know, having our fake little standardized patients in PA school is nothing like dealing with family members in real life and talking to them and trying to explain to them, hey, this is what's going on with your loved one. Or even explaining to the patient, hey, I need you to just kind of relax a little. I know, you know, you may be uh, a little bit disoriented, not necessarily know where you're at, but we're trying to help you. Um, so I need you to stay still so we can put this line in, or I need you to not try and hit me or swipe at me while I'm trying to make sure that I can get the blood pressure cuff on so that we're running labs on you um, and on a consistent basis, you know, um, like a, running a blood pressure on you on, the, a consist, on a consistent basis. So for me, that has really been um, difficult, uh, just, you know, managing that and understanding, hey, like these are real people with real emotions and real feelings and they're in a really tough situation. And so just understanding how to talk them through that, educating them very, very well on the different options that they may have. And all at the same time, you're managing, you know, like, 12 or so patients because there's 24 beds in this particular ICU and then there's also you know they also manage like the intermediate care unit as well so it's really it's really interesting you guys but I love it I love this rotation it's non-stop from the moment that you get in there at like 6 6 30 you're kind of looking at patients looking at how they did overnight because a lot of these patients are here for you know, a pretty long period of time, um, weeks to months. And so you're kind of just looking at their progress, seeing how they're doing, seeing if anything was worse during the night that you're gonna have to now address in the morning or vice versa. And then you go and you kind of get report from the, the night crew or, or the day crew and you get, get it going, you know? You go start looking up stuff and making sure that everyone's doing what they need to do. And then you go and you do rounds and you round with your attending um, and you go through and you see these patients and you manage them. And it's pretty cool and interesting because you'll look up and in no time it's two o'clock and you're like, man, where did the day go? You know, like, or it's like one o'clock. Like I, I, and I love that. I love not 
having to think and be like, oh man, it's, it's only 10. Like I've only been here for two hours because when you're constantly doing something and you're doing like high acuity stuff, it makes the day go by faster. And it's also like very fulfilling. So, so far you guys, I really like it. It's a very challenging rotation. I would suggest that if you are thinking of doing a critical care rotation, try to do it a little later in your um, rotation schedule if you so can choose. Um, I didn't necessarily have a choice per se. Uh, this was how my rotations were set up and I had critical care. Well, I chose critical care, but I had my inpatient medicine third so i do have a couple of electives later on next year and this might be an elective rotation that um i want to do over i might want to do this as an elective because it's a really really good rotation and it will really help you in the future just managing high acuity really sick patients so that is my rotation so far in the last three days that i've been doing it really excited i can't wait to tell you guys how um the rest of my month in this rotation goes. I'm excited, you guys. I'm really, really happy that I decided to do my rotation at this particular hospital because I'm getting to see so much. Like the first day, you guys, I was already there with my PA preceptor putting in a central line. Like we were, you know, gowned up and everything. So it was cool. It's definitely a cool experience. And I can't wait to tell you guys what the rest of my experience in that rotation brings me. Again, if you haven't seen my other recaps, go ahead and hit my playlist up. You can just type that in in the search bar of my channel and it will pop up. Um, and then if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them. And if you haven't already done so, do that one thing for me and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.